Hello, my name is Randy Ripke. I'm the developer of Caspillar Cloud. The following video will help explain features of the program. If you have any questions, please feel free to email or call. I hope you enjoy your use of Taskbuilder Cloud. Hello again, this is Randy Ripke, the developer of Taskbuilder Cloud. During this video, we're going to discuss setting up Taskbuilder Cloud to accept credit cards and the various methods of posting payments. You'll begin by going into Company Setup and choosing the Payment Processing tab. As you can see, I'm already set up for my credit card processor, who is Sage, and my credentials for payment processing are on file. Now, these credentials are supplied by your merchant gateway, either Sage, Authorize.net, or USA ePay. They're known as API credentials. You may have to get them from the processor. Some merchant portals allow you to get those credentials from the portal. If you're having trouble doing that, get back in touch with me. But you have to be set up here first. This description is what appears on the customer's credit card statement. These options allow you to group payments for online transactions together versus payments that are processed in, in batch, perhaps on billing day. While maintenance, account number 4001, we can see a setup for auto charge of credit card. It has credentials for a profile ID and a payment ID. And we store in Taskbuilder Cloud the last four digits of the customer's credit card number and the expiration date of that card. These numbers, known as the profile ID and the payment ID, are all that is stored in Taskbuilder Cloud. The balance of the credit card information is stored securely on your Gateway's website. The profile ID identifies this client to, to Sage in this case. The payment ID identifies which credit card to use. One person may have multiple credit cards on file with the processor. Now to set a person up for credit card processing, let's use account number 4002 who is not set, currently set up. The first thing you want to do is click create to create a profile ID and you'll see a, a number appear automatically. The next thing we're going to do is enter that client's credit card information. When you save this information, it'll confirm that there's a payment ID assigned. You'll see the payment ID go of record in the client's account, and the last four of the credit card and the expiration date will be updated. Now for a sample transaction, Account number 4001 calls and says, I'd like to pay my credit card. You have the information on file. And I'd like to use the card ending in 2196 that expires on 10 of 22. As we can see, we're already set up to accept this credit card for this client. All we do now is select Process Payment Profile Payment. Taskbuilder Cloud will confirm that we're about to charge $100 to this client's credit card. Is that correct? And we say OK. And shortly thereafter, we have an approval code. Now, we're not done just yet. This is just the authorization. We still have to post the payment. So we're going to go back to our Payments tab. We're going to choose Credit Card in this case. We can see the authorization code here that came from the gateway. And when we're done, click on Post. Now, the next option, during the billing period, batch processing can also be used. So here we have our account 4001 who is set up for auto pay on credit card. We're going to charge that client $100. And currently you can see it's not processed. When we hit process, again, Task Builder Cloud will connect to the gateway, obtain an authorization code. And when it's approved, we're ready to move on to invoice distribution. Two things happened in the background while we ran batch processing. Account 4001, who was approved for a payment of $100, received a receipt. And also, the answering service received notification the client paid $100 as an automatic credit card transaction. Now, since that client, 4001, just paid by credit card, their invoice will reflect a zero balance due. It will show the charges on the invoice. It's going to show the credit card payment that we just processed. So all of the detail for this, this client's transaction is on their invoice, the charges, as well as the immediate payment, 
generating a zero balance invoice. Now account 4002, which we just set up with a credit card on file, has a $100 balance, but was not set up for automatic payment. So this client is going to receive an email with the Pay Now button. This is an example of a client who receives an invoice and wants to use the Pay Now button online and make a credit card payment. They click on the Pay Now button. They're redirected to our website, which now displays their invoice for them to review. If everything looks OK, they can click on the Pay Now button and enter their credit card information manually. After the customer has entered their credit card information, they can click on the Pay button, which will get an online authorization from our gateway. We'll come back with a confirmation that the payment was approved, and we'll post their account immediately. Once again, Taskbiller Cloud sent a receipt to the person making the payment online, and you can see it was account 4002 this time, making an online payment, and simultaneously sent a notification to the answering service that client 4002 made an online payment for $100. If we were to go into customer maintenance now and bring up account 4002 and look at their invoice payments tab, we can see that on 922, a $100 payment was on, made online. And this payment paid the invoice we just generated on 922 for $100. This concludes credit card processing.